Hey guys, good evening and welcome back again to your Unacademy Neat English channel. I hope all of you are doing great. So all the students who still want the Reneat examination to happen, my dear students, please and please, you should now come out of it. Because if you see the last discussion which happened yesterday in the Supreme Court, majority of the things were in the favor of no Reneat, right? Whatever things happened, whatever discussions were going on, majority of the points in the discussions were in the favor of the no Reneat. There were only few points, right, which were indicating towards the Reneat examination. So let me quickly tell you exactly what all points were there and at the end I'll let you know exactly what is going to happen on uh, Monday which is going to be the final day for the final verdict of this NEET examination. So my dear students, first of all, all the lawyers, all the advocates who were in the favor of RENEET, who were in the favor of RENEET, the most important question was this one, right? The most important question was this one. What exactly it was? The lawyers who were in the favor of uh, RENEET, they questioned exactly the data analysis done by IIT Madras and they were like the certain members of IIT Madras, they are the governing body of the NTA. How can this data be reliable? On this particular point, a lot of discussion happened, right? And at the end, at the end from the Chief Justice, it was finally concluded that whatever, uh, whatever data analysis has been done by IIT Madras, that's absolutely correct, that is reliable. So this point was slightly the red flag in the beginning, but, but, but it was further, I mean, approved by the CGI, CGI, wherein they clearly mentioned that the data which they showed is absolutely correct. And as per that data, you know, you got the bell-shaped curve, which clearly tells you that the paper was not leaked at the mass level. The paper was leaked at some isolated places, particularly in the state of Bihar and Gujarat. That's point number one. So this was a strong point from the, uh, from the lawyers who were in the favor of Renit, but it was rejected at that point itself, right? What one more point? One more point. NTA was supposed to, right? NTA, NTA should make the result of top 1 lakh students public, right? And NTA was supposed to do that till tonight, right? They still have got some time to publish the result of top 1 lakh students with the centers and NTA is going to do that because it's the code of, it is the order of the Supreme Court. They are supposed to do that, right? Now people, some other things which are really important. As per the Chief Justice of India, as per CJI, what exactly they asked for? They were simple like uh, the correction window or the re-registrations which were opened many a times before NEET examination, right? How many of those are in, how many of those students who did the re-registration, right? How many of those students are in top 1 lakh? Then the reply from NTA was out of 15,000 students, out of 15,000 registrations, around 40 in top 1 lakh, which is perfectly fine, right? In Out of 15,000, if there are uh, around 40 students, in top 1 lakh, which is perfectly fine, right? This does not indicate any uh, any red flag over here. Perfect. Then, uh, the lawyers who were in the favors of, favor of Renit, they asked a few more questions, right? Which were completely justified. First of all, uh, first of all, percentage increment that was related to the grace marks. Perfect. But uh, related to the grace marks, that issue was already sorted, right? NT had come up with the justifications, how the grace marks were provided, and the ones who were provided with the grace marks, uh, their examination happened again, right? So again, this was not any red flag. How paper is printed and transported? This was one more question. And wherein the reply got, uh, the paper was printed on 24th of April and it was sent to the centers on 3rd May. That means there was a gap of nine days exactly. But what happened in those nine days? I, nobody is going to tell you that, right? Nobody is going to tell you that. Until now, there was not some single instance wherein we got to know like something happened in those nine days. So my dear students, this again is going to be in the favor of no renit only. Perfect. This again, this particular point is again going to be in the favor of no renit only. Now looking at some other, other points, what exactly were the red flags in the last meeting, right? Paper in private courier company for six days. The paper remained with the private courier company for six days. Now, no doubt paper remained in the private courier company for six days, but nobody is going to tell you what happened exactly in those six days. So this point, this cannot lead to renit, right? No doubt, this is one genuine point. What happened in those six days? Why paper was with them for six days, right? But nobody is going to answer you that as well. Paper was sent to OSIS school principal. This was one important point. The paper which was supposed to be sent to the State Bank of India on 3rd May, that was not sent to State Bank of India, that was sent to OSIS school principal who was the city head, who was the city head, uh, who was the city coordinator of NTA basically. And that principal eventually later on got arrested as well. This point, this was one more important point, paper circulated on Telegram on 4th of May. Right, paper was circulated on Telegram on 4th of May. This was one more red flag. 
and my dear students one very 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 important point very important point which chief justice of india said right they said why paper is leaked the people who are involved in the paper leak they just want money so why will they leak the paper on telegram absolutely free of cost so that does not make any sense okay so again that is telling you the paper is not the paper was not leaked on the mass level it was leaked at some isolated places only right there was one more point in godra how a geography teacher could fill omr of the students my dear students there was one more important point which we did not know till now in godra what happened exactly the invigilator the invigilator of some center who was basically the geography teacher he had told the students to solve the questions which they will be able to solve rest keep the questions as such they are going to fill it i mean he is going to fill it now if he was the geography teacher how come he would be able to fill the omr how come he would be able to solve the physics and chemistry questions and even the biology questions that is telling you one thing that is telling you one thing the paper was leaked before the paper was leaked before long back right they had mugged up the even the invigilators had mugged up the answer keys and they could eventually uh, fill the omrs right but in return in return what was nta's reply nta said physics and chemistry teachers were involved right this was the reply from nta right so basically the geography invigilator who said uh, to keep the questions to keep the omr as such do not fill it randomly just try to i mean fill the questions which they could solve leave the rest of the things as such but nta said nta said there were physics and chemistry teachers involved there who solved those questions there itself and filled the omr of those particular students right of those particular students maybe who would have uh, paid for it right so this again tells you the paper was not leaked on the mass level the paper was not leaked like uh, like days before the paper was leaked on that day itself in the morning right now apart from these the other things as per nta as per nta there is seven layers of seven layer of safety right when they conduct the examination right the paper which they get it has got the seven layer safety two printing presses for two different sets nta said paper leak happened in the morning between 8 to 9:30 am right they clearly mentioned paper leak has happened but they are just telling paper leak did not happen at the mass level it happened at the isolated places and paper did not get leaked before 2 3 days it got leaked on the same day in the morning itself 8 to 9:30 right uh, i mean in the state of bihar and uh, in the state of gujarat and when paper got leaked in this particular time 8 to 9:30 there were seven solvers who solved the paper uh, 18 beneficiaries as well and the two more points paper linked uh, patnal paper leak was linked with the hazaribagh and there were 3700 students in hazaribagh so my dear students from all these points which which is basically the conclusion of the things which happened in the yesterday supreme court right i would say majority majority of the things are in the favor of no reneet only right no reneet so all those students who still uh, are basically waiting for the reneet my dear students let me tell you honestly you guys are wasting your time now perfect because majority of the things right majority i mean the things which were asked by the uh, lawyers who wanted reneet to happen right majority of the things were not in favor of them majority of the things were in the favor of no reneet only so most likely most likely i would say more than 90% chances are there more than i would say 95% chances are there on monday there will be a final verdict that there will be no reneet at all because majority of the things whatever questions have been asked uh, from the lawyers who are in the favor of reneet right all the questions are being answered properly right there are few things there are few things which are left uh, to be enc encountered in the uh, in the monday's verdict right and i'm pretty much sure that the final verdict is going to be no reneet only so all those students who still are waiting for the reneet examination to happen please and please stop wasting your time now it is high time to start preparing for the neet 2025 examination right so with this i'm taking leave i'll see you guys exactly on monday at 10:30 with the live verdict of the supreme court's final thing about the reneet examination Take care. God bless you all and love you all guys. Bye.